What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes, finally, we got ourselves our first badge after a month off. Yeah, we, we, we should have already been through like four badges, but you know me. And it's daytime, holy crap, this is the first time we're doing daytime. And uh, yeah, now it's time to move on in our adventure. We can't go through Route 207 and, uh, really? This guy. This guy. And he's, he's stating the obvious. He is stating the obvious right here. So we have to go to Jubilife City. And Eternia City. So, uh... Yeah. This guy. Have I, got, have I told you guys that I don't like him? I hate him? Many of you guys might say that, oh, he's not that bad. No, to me, he's just the pest. Anywho... Let's move on right here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put on Repel because we can use Repels now. And uh, we do have Rock Smash technique. And I do have a Bidoof on my team right now. So we're going to check out the first part of this whole uh, area, which is covered in rocks and whatnot. We're going to have to check it out and see if we can find a trainer here, some cool items, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, the Orberg Gate. And uh, look at that, more rocks. Aren't you glad that we just defeated the first team leader, guys? It's September and... Yeah... It's September, and uh, yeah, this could have been done like a month back and all that stuff. Now, if you guys are wondering where I've been over the last month, look at that. TM, uh, TM7, or TM70, Flash. <laughs> okay, off track. Uh, if you guys are wondering where I was in the last month, yeah, I had a lot of responsibilities, and since football season has started, guys, I will be very, very busy, so... Good thing for us is that I did stock up on a lot of videos, so the only thing I will be doing is just narrating right here, guys. Um... If anything, if I take another month off, it's because of it. It's it's probably for a very good reason. But I'm back, trying to get as many episodes as possible. And look at that, we got ourselves a big pearl, which we can actually sell for a big, uh, big, big price. And what does this guy say? Oh, the bumps on the ground. Yes, we need a bike just to jump over those things. And uh, so that's the end of this whole area right here, which is uh, very, very good that we have the rock smash technique now. And uh, it's time to move on. And how did the rocks appear like that? Shouldn't it have been broken or something? I don't know. But yeah, like I said, guys, if I take another month off, you guys will know, and it's always for a very good reason this time around. Back then, you know, if Draven takes months off, it's because, you know, something he just doesn't care or something. But last month, it was very, very important stuff. So, anywho, going back to Route 209 right here, and it's daytime. Holy crud, there's a lot of color right here. And, uh, well... We're in Jubilife City, and would you look at that? This guy right here, Looker, he's like, tell me you have to tame the Pal uh, Pad, Pokemon's basement, or Pokemon Center's basement, which we probably will be doing now. He's telling us about shady Pokemon trainers. He's investigating them and whatnot, and uh, I was like, okay, well, why are you so jumpy? And the Repel's effect has worn off, and would you look at that? Mystery Man is harassing Professor Rowan and my girlfriend right there, and, uh... He's like, uh, how is the Poke? <laughs> He's giving him the cold shoulder. He's giving him so much of a cold shoulder. Okay, and this guy's like, what is so difficult? Why are you why are you ignoring us? Stop ignoring us. Comply with our demands. And this guy, well, Professor Rowan, he's not afraid. He's like, you guys don't scare me. Seriously, you guys gotta learn how to be grown-ups and stuff. And if you guys are really grown-ups, you wouldn't be uh doing what you're doing right here. <laughs> Alrighty, so. This guy's taking it personal, so he's talking about Team Galactic and whatnot, and now we have to battle these guys. Okay, so here we go, our very first double battle, and it's against Team Galactic. Well, Team Galactic grunts. And they will be coming out with a Skunky and a Glammeow, two of the most annoying Pokemon that you'll ever see here in Sinnoh, just because. And look at that, she still has her Piplup, still hasn't evolved it. What the hell? So, I'm going to go with Razor Leaf because he hits both, and of course, Glammeow is going to be a dick coming out with a fake out, and uh, yeah, we're both slow. We are slow as fuck. And here we go. Razor Leaf, come on. For the win. That did not sound good, because I think Stunky is a poison type Pokemon, and uh, cred, Piplup is in trouble. Piplup is in major trouble, and uh, Glammeow is coming out with her scratch attack, so I'm going to go again with another Razor Leaf, see if I can take out just Glammeow, and then finish off Stunky. Look at that, Glammeow, done, defeated, Stunky, defeated, critical hit, 
eat it. That's right, Donatello doesn't take nobody's shit. Nobody's shit. That's right. Donatello, you, 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 you're the man. You're the man. So we defeated the Team Galactic Grunts, and he's like, you're going to regret this. You'll see how benevolent we are, and I don't even know what that word means, but we still won. So if you guys want to describe what that word means, comment down below. That is actually what you guys should do. Comment down below. What is the definition of uh, benevolent? Have an idea. Anywho, this guy's talking about the study of Pokemon. This is and that. Uh, forcing Pokemon for this. This is and that. Of course, you guys are reading it. If this was a live com, I would actually be reading them live com ish and whatnot. All right, come on, keep on talking. Research, please. Uh, you know, fill up your your Pokedexes and all that stuff. Bye bye. Okay, so that's one thing, and, uh, okay, this guy right here, he's like, oh, he wants me to be on Jubilife TV. And we get ourselves a fashion case, which can be used for, uh, I guess the Pokemon contest. Okay, Pokemon contest, and, uh, well, let's, uh, yeah, he's talking about prize giveaways on the TV station and everything, and I'm not gonna be doing that, guys. Let's just go with the main game, and I'm just gonna teach you how to complete this whole thing. So here we are, Route 204. And uh, we're going to use another Repel here because I don't want to get attacked by any Pokemon. Now, the one thing that happened right here, the Ravage Path, was that we could not pass this whole place because there was a rock uh, There was a rock uh, preventing us. The exit is right here to the right, but I'm going to check this place out right here because I believe there is probably something. There's something missing right here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Get ourselves a TM39 Rock Tomb, which is another good move. Not so accurate, but it's still a good move. And uh, now I'm just going to use this Rock Smash right here just to get to the next town because, come on, guys. What's life without a Rock Smash, right? And, uh, well, here we have uh, more Pokemon trainers. And, okay, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to switch it up now. Hydra number four needs to evolve. The countdown begins. It's been beginning. And uh, we need to beat everybody. Get this Pokemon uh, to grow levels. I'm tired of seeing a big old Magikarp not do anything. So here we go. Our first trainer up. What kind of a person are you with the scent of flowers? Um, I'm a good person. I don't even know. But she's going to be coming out with a Badoo. Badoo is Badoo. And uh, Hydra number four has no chance at all because it doesn't know any other move except for Splash. You know, yeah, still not convincing me that it's a powerful Pokemon. So I'm gonna move out with uh, Starblade right here, and uh, let's see what Starblade can do. Can it do something great? Can it be crazy? Will it destroy somebody? Here we go, wing attack, eat it, Badu. Oh yeah, no more Badu right there. I'm not saying that word, Badu, Badu, and. Thank you, Badoo, for the experience points. And uh, Starblade's learning uh, double team, so I'm gonna switch it out with Growl. Or I'm gonna switch Growl. I'm gonna switch. You guys know what I mean. Shoot. I, you know what I'd be saying. And uh, there we go. Double team attack. And okay, so she's gonna come out with a Cherubi. Basically, cherries that look like Pokemon. Or a Pokemon that looks like a cherry. Again, you guys know what I'd be saying. <laughs> And there we go, Cherubi defeated. That's right, experience points. And uh, Starblade growing quickly. That's good. It's very, very good. All right. Okay, so let's move on right here. We got to move on. So there's an item right there, and uh, we get ourselves another Awakening, which is good. And uh, no Pokemon will attack us. Or did I forget to repel? Yes, there's a repel. And uh, there's a crazy bug trainer. So we're going to be battling them. Whatever. Alright, bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Bug catcher Brandon wants to battle us. And he's coming out with his Wurmple. Because he thinks it's cool. You know, it's strong. Whatever. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Donatello right here. See what it does. Donatello. Ready to destroy. And uh, that string shot attack is not, not my best friend right now because... Why would you use String Shot against a slow Pokemon? I don't know. So, let's go ahead and use that Tackle Attack. It's there for a reason, right? Probably is. And again with a String Shot. You're really not doing anything. You're not affecting me much. What the hell, man? Come on. 
Alrighty, so let's go. Str or tackle attack. And then uh, there we go. Tackle attack does its thing. I'm feeling good. Hydra number four gets experience points. We're not doing anything at all. And, uh... Well, this person's coming out with a Krikatot, so I, I guess... I guess I should be using Hydra number four. Oh, man. Hydra four. Hydra, come on, man. Why would they make a Pokemon like Magikarp? Or Feebas? Oh, God. I don't like to work that much. I really don't. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it out and uh, let's go with Starblade because you know what, Krikatot? You should already be evolved at this level. Yeah, Krikatot actually evolved very, very quickly and uh, I don't know why people use it as a Pokemon. I, I don't see the point of it. So maybe being in your Pokedex collection. I don't know. So there we go. Wing attack for the win. Eat it, Krikatot. That's right. That's right. I feel good about this. That's right. Hydra number four, kick your butt like always. And there we go. Butt catch your brain and defeated. Oh yeah. That's right. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Okay, so let's move on. There's a double battle right here. And uh well, let's see what you want to do. Liz and Fizz. Did I get that right? Let's see. No, Liv and Liz. Okay, and they're coming out with Pachirisu's crud. If there's a Pokemon that I don't like this early on, it's Pachirisu. Or Pachirisu, or... I don't even know how to say the name. But I don't like that Pokemon. Why? Because... Oh, they like to paralyze me and whatnot, and, uh... Well, there's a quick attack. Of course, Starblade is gonna have a little bit of trouble, because it is a flying-type Pokemon. And, uh, here we go. Wing attack. Not much damage. Alright, so let's go with uh, Razor Leaf. And uh, yeah, let's just keep on going with uh, attacks. So much attack. So there goes another quick attack for this guy. Another quick attack for that guy. Yeah, you guys are really doing some good teamwork right here. So feel the wrath of my Donatello's Razor Leaf. Oh, yeah. And, uh, takes quite a few damage, and, uh, well, this Patrice is nearly defeated, so let's go again with another Razor Leaf, and, uh, let's go with that. And more quick attacks from the Patrice, because they're dicks like that. Uh, and they're, and they're going after, uh, Starblade, because it's the weakest one right now. And not so effective, but here we go with a Razor Leaf. Come on! Pachirisu's dead. Oh, yeah. And the other Pachirisu's dead. That's how you do it. I can't wait to capture other Pokemon. And look at that. Hydra number two, number four has finally grown a level, especially Starblade. Which is good. Very, very good. Alrighty. Okay. That's right. Everybody gained some experience points. I'm feeling happy about that. That's good. And, uh, wow! Okay, so I didn't even know this. This is a surprise to me. Starblade is finally evolving into its next form. Yeah, this was a total total surprise to me, guys. I honestly didn't remember this one. So there it is, guys. Hello, hello. Staravia. Staravia. Kind of sounds like a Mortal Kombat name. Staravia. Kind of like Baraka. Baraka. You know, that kind of shit. And look at that. We get ourselves a TM09. Bullet Seed. That's a very useful move, you know. Multiple hits and whatnot. And here we are in Florama Town. So... Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be exploring this place. See you guys.